Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking and Drinking with me, Justice Smiles, your host. I'm pretty good at this, huh? As you know, the only time that I can cook in my house is uh, very late, so it's 10.54 p.m. at night. Let's have some Alfredo. It kind of works out for me because I'm ravenous at night. I tend to struggle to eat throughout the day. I don't know if it's like breastfeeding or what it is, but for some reason, I don't want any food during the day and then at night, I come alive. Oh my God, I'm so parched. Full disclosure, I already did a lot of the drinking part. <sighs> I think I'm getting old. Every time I drink, I need to drink like 17 gallons of water because I just get so dehydrated. Is this what 30 looks like? For those of you who have been watching since the Vine days, how does it make you feel to know that I was 19 when I was on Vine? When I started Vine, when like I started blowing up on Vine, I was 19. I'm turning 29, it's been a decade. Uh. Okay, enough of that. Let's, um, let's drink some more, shall we? Okay, so I started this. This little contraption, let me show you guys what I did. I have to film it with my phone because you guys are so fucking far. Listen, I never promised the best operation. I just promised an operation. This is also how I steam my dumplings. So I just put like water in a pot, just a little bit. And then I put my plastic colander and then I just put the tapa on top. And that's how I steam things. And so that's how I'm gonna steam my broccoli. Oh, okay, wait, I think I said it. I'm making fettuccine alfredo with broccoli and I think perhaps maybe garlic bread, perhaps not. It's fucking 11 p.m. at night, but I should, right? So if you didn't catch my last video where I was cooking and drinking, I am now a vegetarian. So if you've been on this channel for a little bit, you know that I was vegan for many years, I think like five years, and I am now vegetarian, full time, okay? Sorry. So this is not a vegan alfredo, however, this is not like, I mean, it's kind of like a regular Alfredo. Alfredo is so easy to make, but I find personally, you know, as a chef, that like regular Alfredo lacks depth. You know what I'm saying? Like the butter, cream, and cheese recipes, like it's literally just those three things. It just lacks a little, a little something, lacks a little flavor. It's just a bunch of dairy thrown together that doesn't automatically taste good in my opinion. However, I actually mix an old recipe that I used to make vegan Alfredo with, and then I mixed it with like a traditional Alfredo recipe. And so now it's like a more flavorful Alfredo. Before we get into cooking, I once again want to thank the best sponsor that this channel has had. I know it's a bold statement, but it's the truth. Thank you so much to Bright Cellars for sponsoring this video. Bright Cellars is a wine subscription company that helps people discover wine that they love. All you have to do is take a less than 30 second quiz and the algorithm matches you to wines that you're guaranteed to like based on your taste profile. And each personalized wine comes with an educational card that provides serving and pairing tips, which I love. And this is the last bottle that I have from the subscription box that I got just like my last video. Like I literally have to set aside a bottle or I'll drink them all. And it's not just because I really like wine, it's because they send really good wine. Like I have yet to to get a bad bottle of wine from Bright Cellars. And a lot of you guys loved your boxes. You got them last month for Valentine's Day. They're like the perfect gift for anniversaries, birthdays, anything like that. And now the grand moment, I'm gonna open this bottle of wine. Did you know that you could take that off the top of bottles of wines like that? I learned it on TikTok. I'm going to pour this into my decanter from Ikea and pretend I know what this does. Puts oxygen in it, takes oxygen out of it. Something to do with oxygen. When Nassim talks about this, all I hear is womp, 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 womp. Nassim also hates when I pour it right away because he's like, that defeats the whole purpose of the decanter due to the fact that I guess it doesn't have enough time to do whatever it does. I don't care. All right, let's give it a little tasty taste. Also, my mom hates when I leave the lip gloss on the glass, but you know what? We don't have time for that. Ooh, zesty. <laughs> it's almost like, Citrusy? Am I a sommelier? And right now, Bright Cellars is giving my followers 50% off of their first six bottle box, which is an insane value for how good these wines are, how cute they are. They come with the little cards, everything's so cute. I love it. So if you wanna support this channel, please click the link in the description and get yourself a box of Bright Cellars wine. You're not gonna regret it. Cheers. All right, so we're gonna start off by cotton some broccoli. Trigger warning, trigger warning. You have been warned. This recipe is the opposite of an authentic fettuccine alfredo recipe, okay? If you are from New York or you're like in the Italian mob or something, please 
Do not threaten to kill me over this fettuccine Alfredo. I am but an innocent girl just trying to eat some delicious noodles. If you think Olive Garden fettuccine Alfredo is an abomination, wait till you see what I do with it, okay? This is going to make you upset. Consider yourself warned. I actually used some of this the other day. You'd be surprised how much broccoli is on a head of broccoli. I was just cutting for fucking hours. Mm-mm. 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 Hershey, I know that every time something falls, you think it's something delicious for you. Not the case. This is why you get diarrhea. Oh, love that. So, fun fact, I actually got this broccoli from, I guess, a farmer's market. I think I might have been scammed. Do you guys know the amount of times I've gotten scammed on Facebook? Who's regulating that shit? I get a lot of ads on Facebook. I am sure everybody does. But I feel like the ads are not regulated at all. Like, they straight up promote shit that is just like not it like it's not what <laughs> they don't deliver what they're promoting and there seems to be no repercussions like okay you know what gets me i'll tell you what gets me it's the comments the fuckers get fake people to comment so it all started with a bee sweatshirt it was this place that says that they donate to the bees every time that they get a purchase and i was like that is like amazing love that save the bees so i made a purchase for a sweatshirt and it did take suspiciously long to arrive to me i will admit that much but it did arrive eventually and before i placed the order like all the comments okay so the whole way that they got me i know this is like such an irrelevant story but it's relevant to me oh also i'm gonna put this in the colander so that it can steam and then i'm gonna roast it because every time i just roast fresh broccoli like not frozen it comes out raw as fuck i don't know what i'm doing so i'm just gonna steam it a little bit and then roast it and also, I know I said in my last video that who chops onions by hand and I use that whole onion chopper. Fuck that, okay? I'm just gonna chop it by hand. Honestly, cleaning that onion chopper is more of a pain in the ass than just cutting the onion. So whatever. Anyway, okay, so the whole thing was that the bee shop was going out of business. And I was like, oh no. What's gonna happen to the bees? And when I saw the comments, there were so many people saying like, oh my God, I've purchased from your shop so many times and I'm so sad to see it shut down. And I love my jewelry from your shop and your clothes are such good quality. And I was like, that's really sad because they were saying that because of COVID, they were shutting down. And I was like, that's horrible. And so to show my support for the fucking bees, I bought a sweatshirt. It was like $30. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Like, have you seen those advertisements? Okay, whatever. This may be very, too niche, too niche. So I bought the sweatshirt. It took suspiciously long to arrive, but I was like, you know what? That's fine. Once I fuck up, I just keep trying to convince myself that like I didn't fuck up. I'm like, no, it's because they got so many orders because so many people want to support the bees. And then it finally arrived and I knew that I had been <laughs> scammed. I knew it on the spot the second I opened that package. Not only was it like a generic ass shirt, right? Okay, well, first of all, okay, it was an extra large sweatshirt. So when I got it, I noticed that it didn't have a tag from the business and it looked like a very, um, very shitty sweatshirt, like the quality. And then when I looked at the tag, it said extra large, but it was the size of like an extra small. Like I literally could never wear it. And that was when I knew I got extremely scammed by um, some random business in China because it took weeks to get here and then also the return address had a Chinese address. I was like, what the fuck? Needless to say, I don't think I saved not a single bee, but um, that's how I got that broccoli. I did not explain that well. My whole point was just that I got that broccoli from like a, f oh, that was my point. Okay, I got that broccoli from a farmer's market here in Atlanta. Well, I don't live in Atlanta, but I live like outside of Atlanta. Nowhere specifically, don't try to find me. It said that it was a farmer's market in Atlanta that delivers outside of Atlanta. So I was like, oh hell yeah, love that. But when I got it, it looked like somebody had just gone to Publix. Like everything came in like the plastic packaging that it comes from like Publix in. Like the strawberries and the grapes came in like the plastic bag, the little ziploc -y one. And I was like, I think I just got scammed. Maybe I didn't get scammed. I don't know, with the bee thing, for sure. But with the broccoli, I don't know. Honestly, don't know why I felt the need to share that, but what's done is done. Okay, this is looking like green and starting to smell like a farm. So it's pretty much ready. I'm just gonna dump them here on this tray. Oh my God, ew, my hair was in there. Ugh. Guys, I am shedding horribly. Hard. I'm terrified. My postpartum hair loss is really bad. Can you see 
Oh my. Oh my God. I need you guys to tell me what to do for my hair. Oh my God, that's a lot of oil. Because when I shower, it's not just like a little bit of hair coming out. It is just like clumps of hair. Like it's just constantly falling out. And it's terrifying to see, honestly. I know it's like a postpartum thing. My daughter just turned four months. I know, but like, how do I stop it? Like enough has fallen out. Okay, seasoning time. So, gonna do some garlic powder on the broccoli, some black pepper, some sea salt and some onion powder. Then I'm gonna mix that all up. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna put a shit ton of sea salt in the pasta water. I feel like you guys are the ones who suggested that to me. Like I have a cooking video where I was talking about how all my noodles turn out like shit. Or not like shit, but like, what the hell's happening? Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. It's alive. I was telling you guys how basically my noodles always taste really, like the sauce will taste good on its own. And then I put it in with the noodles and it starts tasting like shit. And you guys were like, you have to heavily salt the water so that everything tastes delicious. And you were right. And it has changed my noodle life. So anyway, I'm going to put my hand chopped onion in this little pan and saute it with some oil. And I'm gonna put some better than bouillon once it's like nice and like transparent. That's honestly the only thing that I do that's from the vegan recipe that I use. Like it adds so much more flavor. Well then I, I put some seasonings too, but like this is like the main thing that adds that flavor that's delicious. Oh my God, I want some coconut water so bad. If you guys have not tried Harmless Harvest coconut water, I know. This is $10 for this thing. And it has to be refrigerated. It is not shelf stable, but holy shit, it is the best coconut water ever. I hate coconut water and I chug this shit and it's pink, it's pink. Can you see that? No, you can't. I try not to like it cause it's so fucking expensive, but it's so good. And now that I'm just, I guess, trying to sell you guys everything that I use, look at this shit. $6 on Amazon and it holds all the utensils like that. I'm a gadget person. I buy a lot of useless shit. It's just the, like the dopamine from getting an Amazon package. It's unmatched. There's not much else that can make me feel that alive. Waking up with my daughter tonight is gonna suck ass. I try not to think about my nights because like I wake up with my daughter because I have to pump. So there's no point in my husband waking up with her because he has to wake up with our son in the morning. When I'm drinking or like I'm having a fun night, like all I can think of is like you have to be awake in two hours, you dumb bitch. But I try not to do that because it's like when is she going to sleep through the night? Probably not anytime soon. So I can't live life like that. Also, I have no idea how to measure spaghetti. I always just use like three fourth of a package. And also this is not spaghetti, this is linguine. Okay, so once things get nice and juicy in there, you wanna add some butter. So I'm adding Kerrygold butter, salted, but I'm just gonna cut off a good amount. I don't know, that much for now, I guess. Put it into the onion, mix it up, and add that vegetable bouillon, which if you guys haven't tried better than bouillon, best brand ever. So delicious. I'm gonna put a little teaspoon of it in here before I add the heavy cream. And I don't measure anything, so honestly I can't put a recipe, but honestly just get any fettuccine recipe and then just add onions and vegetable bouillon, a little garlic powder, you know some black pepper, you know, some stuff. Sorry, I know that's not very helpful, but I always tell my brother, you gotta trust your intuition in the, in the kitchen. You just got to. You can follow recipes and shit, but at the end of the day, like your intuition is what's gonna make a delicious meal. Like my husband, bless his heart, okay? I started saying that now that I live in Georgia, but like bro, everything he cooks is on high heat. Like everything, it's turned to maximum heat. And unfortunately, that's not gonna make very delicious food. Everything he makes turns into charcoal. Gotta give your food some love, okay? Let it simmer. I need to do one of these cooking videos with my mom. My mom cooks delicious Cuban food and I want her to cook that with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna put the cream in because everything is getting a little burnt. Probably because I was just talking shit about nothing. See, karma. I'm gonna put some heavy cream. <gasps> I'm gonna vomit. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw it. That is foul. Hold on. We're gonna throw this away and get the new one. I'm gonna literally pretend that there was not a giant fucking clump of coagulation inside of the heavy cream. And I'm gonna just keep it pushing. Just gonna keep it pushing. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I am gonna still probably eat that. I did take out the clump. That was disgusting. <laughs> that was fucking disgusting. Oh God. It wasn't expired. It, was, it expires in April. As someone who was vegan, I get so triggered, okay, by textures of certain dairy things. Like things have to be very kosher for me to want to eat it. So that was troubling. 
Not gonna lie, that was very troubling. All right, I'm gonna grate a shit ton of Parmesan. I think this is from Costco. I don't know, we just keep a giant thing of Parmesan at all times in our kitchen. And I'm gonna just grate it right on top. A lot, like a lot, a lot. Like when I'm tired, I'm gonna keep going. And then I'll taste it and take it from there. So my fettuccine usually has like a yellowy color because of that bouillon. Okay, let me show you. You see, it's like a little, it almost looks like broccoli and cheese soup, um, but that's how I like it. Hershey, come here. You know the dedication that you have to have that for like seven years now, every meal I make, you think that it's gonna be your meal? I have to admire that dedication. Also, do not hate on his haircut. I had to give it to him. We had a little thing at the groomers. Bro, I took him to PetSmart, I know. Rookie mistake, right? Never take your dog to PetSmart. Something always happens. But I took him to PetSmart and they called me and told me like, hey, you need to come pick up Hershey because we think he's having a stroke. And I freaked the fuck out. I was like, he's having a stroke? So I made my husband turn around and go get him. Turns out he did not have a stroke. He was completely fine. He just wanted to get the fuck up out of PetSmart, which cannot blame him. Everywhere else was booked, okay? And he was looking real crusty. And he's a Leo. And every time he gets crusty, he starts acting crusty. You know what I'm saying? Like he obviously doesn't feel himself when his hair's not looking fly. And I get it. I do get it. If you guys don't know, my birthday's August 17th. My son is August 18th. Hershey's August 19th. So we're literally Leos like three days in a row. Anyway, whatever. I had to cut his hair because all they did was like groom his body and they sent him home unbathed with a groom body and his hair on his head, which was like the main part he needed to be, like he couldn't see because his hair grows first through his bangs. Like his bangs grow down. Not that any of you care, but anyway, the point is Hershey's perfectly fine. He just didn't like PetSmart and I had to give him a haircut. So if you make fun of him, I'm coming for you. Okay, I'm gonna turn this Alfredo off because it's like nice and thick and delicious. And you guys know the drill. I'll be back when it's done cooking. I'm not gonna clean at all. I should, but really what I'm gonna do is just put away everything that will rot if I leave it out. So cheese, butter, that's about it. The rest is a problem for tomorrow. All right guys. Here we are. I know it looks brown, okay? I get it, but she is very beautiful to me. My favorite like Parmesan, I know that I put like fresh Parmesan and I was grating it, but like I love the like shaker shitty cheese. So I'm gonna add that on top of all my hard work. And let's give it a try. It is fucking hot. Like it is steaming hot. I love my food like boiling hot, but like this is dangerous. Okay, let's see. Absolutely scrums and liamshus. Oh my god. And you know who can't wait to get some? You guessed it. Hershey McGershall. A lot of you guys always ask, like, do you still have Hershey? Do you have Jasmine? Yeah. First of all, I would never get rid of Hershey. Not even if you give me a million bucks. You know, a couple of times people have asked me, like, can I have Hershey? And I'm like, absolutely not. He's been through like every cycle of life with me. He's been with me since I was single. Then I met Nassim, then I became a parent. Noah drives him insane. He drives Noah insane, but like, this is our family. And then Jasmine came into the picture like three years ago on Christmas Eve. She tricked us. She tricked us because she had parasites and the parasites made her so tired. And so she was so sweet. <laughs> Like she laid on everyone's lap and was just so sweet to all of us. And I was like, this is the sweetest cat alive. We need to rescue her. And the second we gave her parasite medication, she became the psychopath that she truly is. My main issue with Jasmine is that she just wants to escape the house all the time. She always comes back, but like, I don't like letting out cat. Like I don't let her out because she's a domesticated cat. Like you don't let domesticated cats out. But she's a psychopath. But we love her and I wouldn't get rid of her for the world. So yeah, I still have both animals and I will never get rid of them. But anyway. This is delicious. I'm gonna finish the rest of it. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna probably finish my wine. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys wanna see from me in the future. I only have two ideas that float around in this head. Cooking videos. And that's it. But yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see from me next. Um, I'm gonna eat my food and I'm gonna drink my wine and go to sleep and wake up in about 45 seconds to have to feed my daughter. But you know what? This was worth it. I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not done so. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.